Hello to all my fellow PMO JWs. Hello XJWs. And also, hello JWs, because I know you guys are watching. This is Mackie PMO JW Jones. Okay. All these ethnicities out here, right? Black, white, Hispanic, Asian, Indian, you know, Aboriginal. <laughs> Right, you have all all these ethnicities. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce my s's because, like I said, I have retainers in at the moment. But you've got all these these what the Bible says as nations, tribes, peoples, and tongues that the Bible mentions, and it's only like two races within the governing body. Seven eighths is white, one eighth is black, okay? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Jehovah is a fucking racist, okay? <laughs> um, you know, it's like, how come they don't have an Asian governing body member? How come they don't have a Hispanic governing body member? If we such a worldwide brotherhood, then why don't we have diversity? You know, there should be an Asian governing body member, Hispanic governing body member, Indian governing body member, black governing body member, white governing body member. There should be governing body members of all sorts governing the worldwide brotherhood not seven white men and one black man the only reason the only reason they put the black man in there <laughs> is so that the organization doesn't look racist and so that the black Jehovah's Witnesses don't start to question why there's no black people in the uh, governing body within the governing body but you also got to think about the Hispanics and the Asians and the Indians they've never seen anyone of their race within the governing body either okay and it's the same thing with the presidency you know um, we're just now having diversity in the White House. But that's that's not what this uh, video is about. It's just about the lack of diversity within the governing body. And my father instantly noticed this and that's what kind of turned him off towards committing and actually dedicating himself and, bap and getting baptized. Now, I'm gonna tell you, even though, um, even though he was not a believer, he did go to a meeting or two and he just wasn't into it. He, he just, he, he said, no, nah, I'm not buying it. You know, wow, we had a storm and there is just like branches left and right all down the street but yeah why if Jehovah if this is Jehovah's perfect organization he should have every single kind of race every single kind of ethnicity not even African American we need an African you know an African um governing body member you know different languages so that so that these governing body members can relate to their members but see they they honor they obviously just don't give a fuck about diversity they want everybody to be the same anyway you know they don't want 
I don't know. I, I, I guess the, it would make them feel uncomfortable having having um, a whole bunch of diverse types of people to be in the uh, part of the governing body. I don't know what the reason is. I honestly don't know. Other than them being, other than Watchtower being racist. But I honestly do think that they are because you have so many brothers and sisters out here. Hell, sisters too. They're sexist as well. I know plenty of sisters that would qualify to be governing body members. <laughs> they can speak better. They, and I'm talking about some of the older sisters. You know, some of them are a, a very articulate. Okay. Um, but yeah, no women and hardly any type of diversity within the governing body at all and it's a, it's sad it's sad but you know what it's a good thing that none of those diverse uh ethnicities are in that organization because the organization ain't nothing but a big fat lie anyway <laughs> so spare yourself right <laughs> um yeah so that's all i want to talk about this was just a quick short rant this is Maggie, Pimo J.W. Jones. Question everything. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. I love you all in peace.